So today we're going to look at reset scan, resume scan, preview and add scan buttons on your menu bar. Click on the scan button to start scanning. Hold the trigger and you can start scanning. In this case, the user has accidentally scanned his hand and finger in the scan. So he needs to press reset scan and it resets it all back to zero and he can start scanning again. He started rescanning with no targets on the object. Um, he's using the geometry to scan with. Now you can stop scanning and pick up your scanner and start scanning again, pull the trigger um, and start scanning where you left off. And that works perfectly fine. It's got geometry so it can situate itself. But a good thing to do is to put a single target somewhere on the object and that gives you a reference point to come back to. So here he's put a single target and you can carry on scanning from where you left off, but return and acquire that target. There it is as a red dot in the, on the screen. And now you can continue your scanning. And if you somehow lose track or want to start again from some point, you just point at the target and work your way around the object again. Another way to resume scanning is to click on the resume scan button and choose a viewpoint on somewhere on the already scanned part of the object and choose that frame and then point at that same area on the object to start rescanning. That tells it that to look in the right place for the, uh, the registration and uh, it enables you to restart the scan that way. Another useful button is the preview button. That enables it to do a quick processing of your scan so far, and you can inspect it and see where you've missed points, and then um, go back and resume scanning of the object. If you are unable or unwilling to scan the object in one single pass, there's another very useful function, which is add scan. So you can stop scanning, press the stop scan button and choose add scan. And you then um, can turn off or not view the previous scan and start scanning the rest of your object. This would be useful if you had to turn something over and scan one side and then the other, for instance. So here he's starting a completely new scan. He's going to turn off the view of the first one so that he uh, doesn't see it and um, he can start a completely new scan but in the same session as um, the previous one. Make sure when you're scanning to have some overlap between the first scan and the added scan because you're going to be able to merge them later by the overlapped parts. So once you've finished scanning the second part, you can let go of the trigger, press stop scan, and then you will have a second scan appear in your navigation window. And then you can choose the button merge scans and it can do an automatic best fit. So try the automatic fit first and nine times out of 10, that will work. If not, you can do a manual best fit, but that is a very good merge and it creates a third scan in your window list which is merged scan and in fact you can go back and resume scanning on that if if the combined merge scan didn't contain all of the points or had some holes we can click on the merged scan and then click on the scan button and carry on scanning on this newly merged scan. 